Channel 5 Network. This is Sportsline. Hey there, Sportsline on your television. Steve Lehman here with you. Glad you are here with us on this Monday night on News Channel 5 Plus. Get through another weekend. Not a great weekend for the Predators. Another good weekend for Tennessee basketball. We can get to all of that tonight. We can talk college basketball. We can talk the playoff race. So much to get to through the course of the night. But I want to begin with something that I think shocked all of us on Friday with the news of the passing of longtime Vanderbilt Athletic Director David Williams. Just tragic. Happens eight, eight days after he stepped down officially. You know, he announced his retirement earlier in the fall, but gave up his duties as the actual athletic director at Vanderbilt on February 1st or January 31st as Malcolm Turner took over on February 1st. It was going back into just being a faculty role and teaching and advising and doing the things that he loved the most about academics and the academic world. And he was going to spend time with his family and his wife and just get to enjoy all the things he'd worked so hard to set up for himself and for them over the years. And for that to happen then, just really, really, really tragic. So, I think it was a tough day for a lot of people around the sports world and certainly a few days trying to kind of come to grips with the whole thing. And I know for me, I didn't know David Williams particularly well. Certainly his coaches and his student athletes knew him better than this, but I dealt with him many times on issues regarding Vanderbilt athletics and and sports and academics and all sorts of things and he was always forthcoming with answers and a point of view and he was willing to disagree on things I know one thing that you'll hear a lot of Vanderbilt fans complain about is the state of the facilities on the campus particularly Vanderbilt Stadium Dudley Field and, and what the football environment is like on game day and the, the facilities for student athletes and David Williams was pretty open and honest about where that fell in relation to their priorities of what they did. And now some people disagreed, and, and frankly, I'm one of them. I think for Vanderbilt to be truly competitive in the SEC, they've got to give Derek Mason, or before that, James Franklin, they've got to give them a football facility, a stadium, that compares with its SEC rivals. And right now, they just don't have that. Now... David Williams was one of the chief forces behind getting them the indoor facility, which is one of the best in the SEC, and that has certainly gone a long ways in helping them out and helping them function, frankly, as a football program. What he's done for the baseball facilities is outstanding for Tim Corbin and that group. But, you know, if you want to complain about the football facility, he would listen to you. He would understand your argument. And then he would give the reasons for what Vanderbilt was doing and why they were doing it. And it was always well thought out. May not change your mind, but you certainly never walked away thinking he doesn't have a plan for how he's doing this or he can't do it because of the way the university is set up. It was always very much about his priorities. And his priority, number one, was make this the best student-athlete experience possible. We want the kids or the young individuals that go to Vanderbilt to get an education. First and foremost, graduate. But while they're there, have an experience that they'll never forget and have a team experience that will make them better as individuals, as men, as women, as they leave the campus ultimately. And for that reason, David Williams was known to a lot of people is the gold father. Kind of the person behind the scenes, if you will, but was always at front and center. Whether it be with the football team, or the women's bowling team, or women's tennis team, or whatever. David Williams was right there. And everybody who went through the programs understood that and valued his guidance and leadership. 
He was a moral compass for a lot of people, and he was a pioneer for athletics he, and academics, frankly. He was the first black vice chancellor in Vanderbilt history, so he trailblazer in that regard. A lot of the things he did at Vanderbilt and within the SEC were sort of one-of-a-kind initiatives that he did. And he wrote, reached out to people in a lot of different walks of life. Everyone you talked to had nice things to say about David Williams, and I found it interesting over the past few days as the tributes on social media kept pouring out. Lots of student athletes that are there right now, but plenty of former athletes as well, from Dansby Swanson in the major league to Javon Hay, former NFL player, to basketball players and coaches and people around the league. Everybody he touched had a David Williams story about how good he was to them and just how genuine and honest and good he was as a man. And I can say this from my perspective, the last time I really got a great deal of opportunity to be around him for a long period of time was on this program. I saw him several other times throughout the fall and got to shake his hand and just talk briefly. But the last time we had substantial conversation was on this program shortly after he announced that he would retire when they found his replacement at some point throughout the year. And it was just fascinating to pick his brain about all the things he'd seen. A lawyer, a law professor, an academic administrator, an athletics administrator. I think I learned more by talking to him during that hour, both on the air and off the air, sitting at this desk, than I have learned in any interview setting that I've ever been in with any subject. Because he was that transparent, he was that honest, and frankly, he's just full of wisdom. There were a lot of questions that night. Because there are about college athletics, about do you play players? How far should the arms race go? How high should salaries go? What other benefits can you give to student athletes? What do you do in the transfer market? So many questions out there to be asked that smart people have tried their hand at and struggled, frankly, to come up with perfect scenarios for them. And he just gave answer after answer that was really, really smart and interesting and made me think as the night left. And I certainly wanted to thank him for that. And we talked several other things off the air about just life, life in America, life at schools, life in politics, all those sort of things. And man, did I value his wisdom. And just the conversation. And I know a lot of other people out there do as well. So we lost a good one in David Williams. There's no question about it. And I want to start tonight with our sort of tribute to David Williams from the Electric Power Company Sunday Sports Central last night because he was the gold father to a lot of people at Vanderbilt. And I'm sure a lot of Vanderbilt fans never knew him personally, never had the opportunity that I did or that the student athletes did to talk with him and understand the role model he was, the guidance he gave so many people, the wisdom he shared. But they saw him and they understood his presence in the background. And for that reason, to know that shortly after he stepped into the background to retire and to get to enjoy the fruits of his labor for so many years, for this to happen, it's why so many of us were just frankly stunned on Friday. I didn't want to believe it. It took me hours to sort of come to grips with it and even want to join in the conversation. It, it just, I did not want to wrap my head around how a guy had worked so hard to, to better so many people, to better an institution for so many years, could literally step out of the job, hand it over to his replacement, and a week later, as they're basically gearing up to throw his celebration, not really going away party, but celebration party for his retirement from the athletics world, he passes out in a restaurant and that's it. It's just, 
it's it's unfair and life is unfair a lot and I, I know it's touched all of us in unfair ways over the years but when I heard that it was kind of too much to really grasp onto and I know a lot of other people were equally stunned when they heard the news and it's why so many people are mourning the loss of David Williams and a life very very well lived so here's our tribute to David Williams. He was just a, a tremendous man. Like what he stood for in college athletics is, is truly what I believe college athletics is about. As college athletics began the arms race for facilities and with skyrocketing salaries, David Williams wanted to make sure Vanderbilt did it the right way. Put the student athletes first, he said, and make sure when their careers are through, they leave as better people. It was about graduating. It was about, you know, helping people in the community. It was about giving back and about obviously represent Vanderbilt to the best of your ability. Williams' focus on the individual didn't mean Vanderbilt programs took a back seat. In his 15 years as athletic director, the Commodores reached six bowl games, won 19 conference titles, and four national championships. It was a model that set Vanderbilt apart and upon his retirement this fall, helped attract his successor, Malcolm Turner. Couldn't have a stronger impression of men to have admired him from afar, kind of how he's gone about his business, his approach to uh, the student athlete and what that means and you know that it's really been a model and a big reason for why I'm here. Williams' impact wasn't just limited to Vanderbilt. Student athletes and coaches from around the country valued his wisdom and guidance. He strategically sought me out when I first got Got the job here at Alabama. Spent some time talking to me about coaching in college and just making that transition. He was just very kind. I didn't know him at all. And, uh, but just a great man. Really loved to serve. The first black vice chancellor in Vanderbilt history, Williams was a pioneer in college athletics. But most proudly, he was a father of four biological children with his wife, Gail, and of thousands more that wore the black and gold. He was an asset to this community and to this university, to the SEC and all of college athletics. It's life-changing for many of the people that have, that have been here as student athletes. And so, you know, his legacy will continue through his family, but it's also going to continue through a lot of the student athletes that were here. You know, I think we're all a little bit better people because of our time with them. David Williams, gone too soon at just 71 years old.